All right, let's have a look at example two. Example two said, let f of x be equal to x. Um, find f prime of x using the, the definition of derivatives. All right, first of all, um, f of x is equal to x. So f of um, x plus h would be equal to x plus h. So f of x plus h is saying that in f, wherever we see x, we should take out x and put x plus h. Now, by definition, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So this is the same as seeing the limit as h approaches 0 of um, x plus h minus f of sorry minus f of x which is x all over h. So this would become the limit as h approaches 0 of h over h and this would be um, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 which is equal to 1. So if f of x is equal to x, f prime of x would be equal to 1. All right, so the first derivative of x is 1. Let's have a look at example um, 3. In example t 3, we're told let f of x be equal to um, x squared, and we're to use first principle to find f prime of x. So using first principle is another way of saying use the definition. So f of x is equal to x squared, and f of x plus h is equal to um, x plus h squared. So again, f of x plus h is saying that in f, wherever you see x, take out x and put x plus h. So this would be equal to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So therefore, by definition, f prime of x um, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So this would be equal to the limit as um, h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which is x squared plus 2xh plus h square minus um, x square and this is all over h. This would be the limit as h approaches 0 of um, x square minus x square is 0 so this is 2xh plus h square over h. Um, h is a common factor, so this is the limit as h approaches 0 of h into what? 2x plus h all over h. So this h here cancels this h. So this would be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 x plus h. Alright, 
So therefore, by direct substitution, I can see that um, f prime of x would be equal to 2x plus 0. f prime of x is equal to 2x. All right. Remember that it says h approaches 0. Um, find the limit by direct substitution. Let's let h be 0. So if f of x is equal to x squared, f prime of x would be equal to 2x. All right. More. Let's have a look at another one. All right. Let's erase this and do this from scratch. All right, so let's go back to this. Example four. Example four says, use the definition of derivative to find um, f prime of x, where f of x is equal to the root of x. So um, f of x is equal to the root of x. So um, f of x plus h would be equal to the root of x plus h. By definition, um, f prime of x would be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of um, f of x plus h minus f of x and this is all over h. All right. Um, so this is the same as saying the limit as um, h approaches 0 of the root of um, x plus h minus the root of x all over h. All right, so let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So if I do that, I'm going to have something like this. Um, the root of x plus h plus the root of x. And down here, I'm going to have the root of x plus h plus the root of x. All right, at the top, multiplying the difference of two, multiplying, um, we're going to have the difference of two squares. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. Up at the top, we're going to have x plus h. So root x plus h times root x plus h is x plus h minus um, root x times root x, which is x. And this is over h into the root of x plus h. Um, plus the root of x. All right, so this is going to be equal to the limit of h over h into the root of x plus h plus root x. And this is as h approaches 0. Well, h here cancels h here. And so we're going to have um, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over root x plus h plus root x. Um, using direct su substitution, this would be equal to 1 over root x plus 0 
plus root x, where I see h, I take out h up at 0. So this would be equal to 1 over um, root x plus root x, which is 2 root x. So if f of x, if f of x is equal to, let's write this up here, if f of x is equal to the root of x, f prime of x is equal to 1 over 2 times the root of x. Example 5. Um, example 5 says use first principle to find the derivative of um, to find the derivative of f of x is equal to x cubed. So we're going to have um, f of x is equal to x cubed. We're going to have f of x plus h is equal to x plus h cube and this would be equal to x cube plus 3x square h plus 3x h square plus h cube. Alright, so now um, by definition f prime of x, which is the first derivative, the graded function, is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. All right, so this would be the limit as h approaches 0 of x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed minus x cubed all over h. So straight away we can see that um, x cubed, we take x cubed from x cubed, so what we end up with is the limit of h approaches 0, the x cubed gone, so this is 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed. All right, and this is over h. All right, so if you divide both numerator and denominator by h, you're going to have the limit or if you want, you could factor the h and then cancel them. So let's do that. Factor the h, we have 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared over h. I don't want to lose anybody. And this is as h approaches what? 0. So this becomes the limit of as h approaches what 0 of 3x square plus 3xh plus h square by direct substitution um, that is take out h and put 0 we have what 3x square plus 3x times 0 plus 0 square and this is equal to 3 x squared. So to finish it and to finish this part of the lesson we can say if f of x is equal to x cubed f prime of x would be equal to 3x squared. Alright